come let's play hide and seek i'll hide and seek your word in my heart i'll hide and seek your word in my heart i'll hide and seek your word in my heart that i may not sin against thee i'll hide and seek your word in my heart i'll hide and seek your word in my heart I'll hide and seek your word in my heart that I may not sin against thee, that I may not sin against thee. Hello there, my name is Teacher Faith and welcome to our channel where we learn and grow. And today we are going to memorize three new verses. Were you able to memorize the ones that we learned last Sunday? I hope so. Now... I know you're going to like this next one. Okay, so it's Psalms 139 from verse 4 to verse 6. Verse 4 says, For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it all together. This means that God knows everything you say. Before you even speak, he knows what you want to say. And this tells us that God can teach us to say kind words. He can teach us to speak encouraging things to other people. He can teach us how to say words that bring hope when somebody is feeling sad and or when somebody is not happy. Okay, let's continue. Verse 5 says, You have hedged me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Now, there's a big word on verse 5 in verse 5 that says hedged now hedged mean to be closed somewhere so this means that god has secured you in front and behind so there is nowhere we can go children and hide away from the presence of the lord he's always with us no matter where we are even when you're alone in the room and it's dark God is there with you. When, when, when your parents sent you to bring something in another room and you feel like you're alone, you're scared, don't be scared because God is there with you. And God being behind and in front also means that he can remember the things that we did in the past and he can remind us so that we can ask him to forgive us. And if we got hurt in the past, he can also heal us. And he can give us a beautiful life in the future like he has promised that if we keep him as our friend, when he comes the second time, he will take us with him to heaven. And heaven is a beautiful place. Oh, I know you don't want to miss. Let's continue. Verse 5 again says, you have laid your hand upon me. Meaning, he has put his gentle hand upon on us around us and that gives us so much comfort knowing that god is with us all the time everywhere and his hand is upon us verse 6 says such knowledge is too wonderful for me it is high i cannot attain it this means nobody can understand how god is able to know what you think about he's able to know what you want to say Again, he's in front of you and he's behind you. He has covered you with his hand. Nobody can ever understand that. Only God can understand that because he is God. And we can rest secure in him no matter what we are going through. No matter where we go, we know that God is with us. So are you feeling afraid today? Remember that God is with you. So that's it for today. Until next time. Bye bye. I'll hide and seek your word in my heart. I'll hide and seek your word in my heart. I'll hide and seek your word in my heart that I may not sin against thee.